Hey guys, welcome to the weekly reading for the sign of Aries. Mm, so it looks like you guys. may have pulled your energy back or you're holding back from this person at this time because something came to light probably about this third party seven of wands um you guys are guarded right now i see guardedness you guys may have also put your pulled your energy back because there was too many yeah, there was some kind of conflict between you and this person because they were most likely hiding this third party from you. Um, either this is something that's going to play out in the future. Somebody's going to be pulling their energy back from a person because it's going to come to light that somebody um, and you guys are going to um, start, you know, you have to defend yourselves or guard yourself against a person because yeah, I see a possible fight, conflict, argument because you're going to find out somebody was being deceptive, keeping secrets from you or this is something that has already happened. Be more specific, spirit. Some of you guys could be dealing with, um, well, let me, before I say signs, let me just read the message here. Um, This person could have also been very possessive of you guys, very controlling, I just heard. But this person had a third party. It's like one of those people that wants you to act like you're in a relationship. Um, but they are, um, like maybe this person just really needed to get control of their life. I also, like I'm getting possessive energy. Like this person was possessive of you, but they were also dealing with the third party themselves. So they wanted their cake and to eat it too. They wanted you to act like you were theirs or in a relationship with them when they couldn't even give you their, full, you know, a full commitment. They were spreading their energy between you and another situation or you and another person. Um, but yeah, I'm just feeling like. Somebody in this situation, and we're going to take a deeper look at this um, in the next spreads, but somebody in this situation has finally worked up the courage and the strength to close out a cycle and manifest something new and stable for themselves. Have a new beginning, a new stable beginning here with the Ace of Ace of Pumpkins or the Ace of Pentacles. All right. Um, let's see. What's the back of deck energy? Yeah, after a tower moment. So something went very badly. Either, either something's going really badly with them in the third party or something went badly between you and this person there was like maybe some chaos that broke out between i do see that here with the five of wands probably like i said because some deception came out um and i feel like it's because you found a third party and you told them that they had to make a decision that they had to choose between you and a third party or they just realized like they had to make a decision um i feel like this was like divinely orchestrated too guys like i feel like the divine intervened in this situation brought some things to light or this the divine trying to push this person to make a decision i feel like somebody is being pushed to having a new emotional beginning here so guys before i get too far into reading the cards let's let's do signs okay i'm seeing leo energy here aries energy scorpio energy here i heard aquarius um and double leo like lots of leo energy here um We have the king of, we have the judgment card. I feel, yes. So I'm getting Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy a little bit and a little bit of earth energy towards Virgo Capricorn. Okay, so it could be, but prominently what I'm seeing here is mostly Leo energy, Aries energy, Aquarius and Scorpio energy. Um, yeah, that's what I'm seeing here predominantly. But I'm pretty much seeing a little bit of everything, but those are the signs that are sticking out to me the most. Um, that could be your sign or that could be this person that you're dealing with. It could be their sign. Okay. Or they could have that. You guys could have those birth chart placements. So like, I'm just feeling like there's something here about, there's something that spirit is nudging someone in this connection to do. 
I feel like somebody needs to make a decision or you told this person they had to make a decision once you found out about this third party. For some of you guys, you don't know about this third party yet. This situation has yet to play out. Um, I feel like somebody has made the decision to make an apology or try to make amends. That's what I'm seeing here. So this person that you're dealing with, they could be making a return here. or They, they may be reaching out to you. Um, to apologize at the very least but for some of you this person is desiring a new emotional beginning a new like a new beginning in love but apology first is what i'm seeing here um yeah i'm seeing a lot of different energies coming out now and since this is a very general collective reading it's going to start being a little bit confusing with the tarot so let me go ahead and get into the um oracle cards Wow, the hanged man just popped out. Pisces. Some of you guys can be dealing with the Pisces. Somebody's looking at the situation differently now. Somebody has gained a new perspective. That just flew out. And that wasn't even a card that I saw when I was looking through the deck either. So that's definitely a message for someone. Or you guys, somebody's dealing with the Pisces. Um, so let's go ahead and get into the Oracle cards. Let's like first take a look to see what's going on. Um... With you and this person let's get a, dig a little deeper in regards to that with you and your person in regards to this third party situation somebody here is dealing with a karmic but let's get clarity before i keep talking and blabbing second guys all right for my collective Yeah, I was getting this with the emperor coming out. It's like whoever the masculine is in this situation, they have the power in the relationship right now. It's like you may need to set boundaries with this person, take your energy back, pull your energy back from this person because I see that they're running this situation. And I feel like this person is um, stringing you along. They're trying to, they may like try to seduce you. They may know your weaknesses and they play on those. Um, this person's almost kind of looking at you as like a prize. All right. Like a possession. I told you I was getting like a possessive energy from this person. Um, they like to possess their, you know, people. Um, I don't feel like this person knows how to be in a healthy relationship, but maybe this was a past energy because we do have the transformation card here and it came out with the masculine card. So the masculine could be going through a big transformation at this time. Okay. They could be um, going through it, you know, changing, going through a growth process at this time. Um, trying to take control back over their life. If they are dealing with a third party or karmic, this karmic could have had some control over them, but I see that they're trying to get um, control, restore control. Like take the control back over their life. Um, this could have been somebody that lived at a distance from you guys as well. Like you guys would go on little trips together or yeah, this could definitely be a long distance relationship for some of you guys. But I see that this person is like doing things that you don't know about. I do feel like this person feels like they need to work on themselves before you guys can ever have anything. Probably before they can ever have a healthy relationship. So that's probably why they're trying to go through this trans go through this um, transformation change for the better. Because I do see this person wants to make room for you in their life. Um, this could have been a relationship where things are on and off again. You know, like very um, a lot of ups and downs. You and this person break up, make up, break up, make up. Um, because somebody didn't know what they want. 
wanted or both of you guys didn't really know what you wanted um or this person was just very like one day they seemed like they were very into you and the next minute they acted like they didn't want anything to do with you but i feel like this person is still entertaining a third party for sure and they're keeping you as their backup plan it's like this person does maybe desire to have a union with, with you they are possibly working on themselves to have a union with you but it's like they're dealing with this third party more than they're dealing with you it's like they're keeping you as like it's like they're giving you even less attention than they're giving this third party at this time all right the, things are not progressing in this situation I, like I said, I was getting this energy of maybe you guys have pulled your energy back from this person too. So I see see there being a stalemate here because of the fact that I feel like both of you guys are pulling back from each other. This person's pulling back because they feel like they need to work on themselves. You're pulling back because this person is toxic or they're, they've been stringing you along. You're not getting what you need from the situation, whatever it is. Um, illusion. So some of you guys may think that... Um, it's like the, your reality or your your perception of the situation with this person is actually you guys aren't looking at it like for the reality of it. You're not seeing the truth of the situation. You may think that you and your your person are in love or that this is love between the two of you guys, but it isn't. Spirit is saying this is not love. All right, this is toxicity. All right, so let's see what's going on with them in this third party because we haven't really looked, um, got too much insight yet about what's going on with them. And, the, the, you know, their connection, because I feel like they're giving more attention to that third party than they are even to you. Okay. Um, well, at the same time, they're trying to change, but I don't feel like this person is ever going to really make the changes that they need to as long as they're dealing with this third party. But let's see. Let's see what's going on. What's going on with the third party and my collective person that they have on their mind. So that apology that I saw coming in, guys, um, this could this apology could actually be coming into the third party. All right, I feel like they may be trying to they may be apologizing to the third party for something. I feel like the third party caught this person having your phone number in their phone or texting you messages, something along the line. I feel like they got caught, or this person is has deleted all remnants of you out of their phone so that they don't get caught by this third party. I also see that possibility as well. Um, this person may even have two phones. Oh my gosh, like that Kevin Gates song? Goodness. Um, <laughs> or they have two phone numbers. Toxic. But um, this person may be staying in this connection or clinging to, you know, to this connection because they're afraid of maybe taking a leap of faith, starting something new. Whatever it is, this person's not doing well mentally or somebody in this connection is not doing well mentally when it comes to the third party in your person. Not sleeping well at night. I don't really see a lot of progress being made in their relationship at this time too because somebody maybe is scared to have a new beginning or they're scared, like maybe there's like past, um, things happened in the past between the two of them that has created trust issues. I'm getting that type of energy here. And yeah, there's guardedness. Somebody is resisting this connection. Why do I feel like it's actually the third party? The third party is maybe even is the one resisting your person. They're guarded towards your person. I mean, take it how it resonates, guys. It could be your person that's um, guarded. Because I was seeing that in the main thread. Like, maybe both people are guarded. I'm getting, like, the third party is guarded as well. Um, but... This things are still up in the air with them. They don't really know where things are heading. I feel like they're associating with each other, but they don't really know where things are heading. They, they feel like they need to take some more time to make a decision about the connection or the relationship. Um, there's just a lot of confusion and a lot of doubts about whether or not this connection between the two of them would even be able to work. But I do see something changing here. I feel like they're going to be 
some the, all that confusion is going to be dissipating. I feel like there's going to be some type of clarity that arises in their situation and they're going to know exactly what they want to do and what direction they want to take the relationship. Um, this could possibly be between the two of them, a twin flame relationship. They marry each other. They always have like this longing for each other. Definitely a soul connection between them and the, um, the third party. Okay. I don't even feel like this is a karmic that they're dealing with guys. This is definitely just like a, their twin flame probably. Um, I feel like you guys are more of like the side person. Unfortunately, I hate to tell you guys that, but I feel like you guys are more the side person. I don't feel like they have like this deep soul connection with you. I feel like they have it with this third party. Okay. Um, somebody's just like very focused on their job or work at this time as well, too. And I feel like it's like somebody's not even able to put any any effort or or anything into this relationship because they're too focused on. They're maybe um, not. They're in some debt or their finances aren't doing very. That they have bills they have to pay. I don't know something here about they need. They really feel like they need to work on their career and their money. That's what they're like mainly focusing on, and maybe that's why their guard is up. They don't feel like they're in a place to get into a relationship because they need to focus more on their work. But I do see that they're like they're extending an apology to this third party. It's like this person is like trying to make things right with them. Your person is, um, like they're like pretty much being this person's like slave almost. Like they're pretty much telling this person that they'll do anything to make things right. Um, with the marriage card here, I see that they're even wanting to maybe marry this person, wanting to take things to the next level with this person. Um, or somebody in there, either the third party or somebody is maybe also married, okay, could already be married to somebody else, but I feel like they're looking at this person as a potential marriage partner, like somebody that they want to marry, okay, um, yeah, they, I feel like, they feel like the logical thing to do would be to reconcile with this third party, that's what I'm seeing here, so let me just get like, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna draw one card about you guys, and I'm going to draw one card about them to just get some final clarity about what's going on here. But I feel like, yeah, they're leaning more towards this third party. Okay, for my collective, one card about them and their person that's on their mind. Hard to get. Yeah, I feel like you guys may end up feeling rejected by this person or that's how this person made you feel. Or you guys are going to be in this energy where you guys are not going to settle for less than you deserve. And that's exactly the energy you should be in. You should never settle for somebody that can't make up their mind between you and another person um, that has rejected you, that gives you less than they know that you deserve, um, plays games. All right, what about the third party? Ooh, okay, well, I didn't mean the whole half of the deck. So there's a lot going on with them. All right, guys, there's a lot going on in regards to that part of their their end of the situation. Um, all right, tell me, third party. What's going on with the third party? Oops, it's fed up. So I feel like you guys actually may be in the same type of energy. Okay, I feel like you guys may be, like this person is fed up with your, like this third party is fed up with your person. Like they've had enough of them. They feel like they deserve better. I feel like you guys are realizing that you're not, you don't, you deserve more and that you're not going to settle. You guys, that this part, this third party is like had enough of your person. Is what I'm seeing here. This came through in somebody else's reading. Yeah. I feel like you and this person are both fed up with this, this, whoever, your person, um, has done a number on both you and this third party. So I'm seeing here, unfortunately. All right. So let's go ahead and, um, let's take a look to see what's going to happen in the future. Um, what do I want to use for that? The future. Where's the deck that I want? All right.
right, so let's see if anything is going to manifest between you and this person. And let's see if anything is going to manifest between them and the third party. And then we'll wrap up this reading with getting you guys some advice about the situation. All right. For my collective, will anything materialize or come together for them and this person? Yes. So it says that after this person releases the past, it looks like something. It says dealing with the past will help you bring it to fruition. So somebody needs to get their past situations wrapped up, needs to heal from the past, release the past. And it does look like something it may happen between you and this person. Um, action required on this earthly plane to achieve your goals. Somebody, yeah. It's like you maybe have done the spiritual work, but there needs to be like physical action taken. Like somebody needs to reach out to somebody, um, come towards somebody, travel to somebody. Uh, it says it will manifest, but with challenges for they will teach you valuable lessons. So yeah, it does look at this person. You guys are going to come together, maybe have something together, like a relationship, but it's going to be a very challenging situation. Okay. But you're going to use, learn very valuable lessons. And we have likely there's more to learn before you can effectively connect to source. Yeah. So spirit is using this connection between you and this person to teach you lessons. Now that doesn't mean that this is like a karmic. It could be a karmic, but we, we know we can actually take a look at that really quick. Um, but yeah, I do feel like this person is going to come back to you or something is going to happen in the future between you and this person. Okay. So what about them in the third party? No, goes against the divine plan. So they need to release this third party. Spirit says that is not what the divine plan is for them to be with this person. Continue spell work. We needed to keep them. Yeah, it, it would take a lot of work. Like it would take too much work to to keep anything going in that relationship with them and this person. And I feel like somebody is just lacking the. Somebody feels just very pessimistic about the situation. So things are not going to um, go in the right direction either. But it says, yeah, no, there's blocks to your manifestation. Yeah, spirit is blocked. There's blockages either within the people, you know, either your person or their third party is blocking the situation subconsciously, consciously, or um, the divine is blocking this relationship. So it looks like something is going to come together between you and this person, not between them and this third party. And I know that that's confusing because like they they wanted to make something work with this third party. I really would like to have more clarity about that. It's like, I feel like maybe, like, because we did see that they were looking at you as like a plan B. So maybe they their their first choice or their, first, their ideal outcome would have been if maybe them and this third party could work things out. I don't feel like that's going to happen because this third party does not want that with them. So now they're going to be coming back to you wanting to have something with you probably because whatever, whatever they originally wanted isn't going to work out. And that's not, you know what I mean? Like you guys are, but you deserve more than to be a second choice guys. All right. So let's see here. Um, let's see if this is something deeper. If this is just this person rebounding or whatever. So let's see what is this connection for my collective and what is the connection All right, for my collective, what is this connection, Spirit? What is this connection? So, Twin Flame. Interesting. What kind of connection is this with the third party? A karmic. So their third party. So. It's like I wish that I could go back and re-watch re -watch my own video. What I just filmed. To be able to take a look at the, th the spread again. I should start just leaving my cards out. So I can take a second look at it. Because what the second spread. about the, with The third party spread that we did. What that could have been saying was that. They feel this twin flame connection with you you activated something in this person's soul
This third party was controlling your person. That was probably what that emperor energy was, guys. This third party was being controlling of your person. I feel like this is a twin flame connection that you and this person share and that this third party was their karmic. But I wish I could go back and look through what I pulled for the third party spread because the twin flames card did come out. Let me see if I can um, go back and look through the cards because it was the last thing that I did. So where is that deck at? So, all right, I have the cards. Let's clear this up, guys. Honestly, guys, for some of you, the third party could be career and finances. That could be a big thing here. All right, guys, the third party could most definitely be career and finances. Third parties don't always have to be people or another romantic interest. Okay, and if that's the case, because we did have career and finances coming out, this person could just be very focused on work. That's a blockage for you guys being able to come into union. Um, I feel like this person may be... Their guard could be up to this um, situation with the third party or their guard is up. And I mentioned this earlier. Their guard, it may be because they feel like they need to focus more on money and being with you or associating with you is going to distract them from that. It's going to keep them from reaching the goal that they have. But I see them gaining some type of clarity that maybe, yeah, that you, that you guys have a soul connection. I do still feel like there is a third party that they have, probably a karmic, that, um is they're trying to pursue someone new this third party they're dealing with they're looking for another person like they're they're looking to date other people they're cutting their losses it's like they're finally kind of re, probably realizing that this situation between them the two of them is toxic it's not going to get any better it's time for me to move on okay um but i don't know i don't feel like this person it's like this person's realizing that you are you guys have a soul connection you guys could be mirroring each other because i told you i was see, feeling that both people like you and your person were guarded and they're yearning for you. They're like feeling this very strong pull towards you. It's like they're seeing you. Maybe you guys are married. Some of you guys could be married or in like another. Because I the marriage cart was on the back of the deck. So they could be viewing you as somebody that they view as like marriage potential. Or maybe they're trying to prepare, prepare to, to get married. Like this person's maybe wanting to finally settle down. They're looking at you as somebody that they could do that with. Okay. Um. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing here, guys. I'm glad that I didn't shuffle this deck so I could go back and look to gain more clarity about what's going on here. Okay, so let's see what's going to happen in the future. More of what's going to happen in the future. Let's see if we can get a little bit more details. We definitely see here, Spirit says something is going to happen. But let's see if we can get a better idea of what it, what is going to happen. Yeah, I feel like, guys, when this person comes back, they're still going to be in this energy, this immature energy, or just behaving immaturely. And I feel like you guys... It's kind of still up in the air right now. It could go either way. It's probably maybe also a split group. I mean, we do have, yes. Oh my gosh, guys. What did I tell you? Failed plans on the back of the deck. Their plans to explore their options fail. They realize it doesn't make them happy. That's what I'm saying. They're viewing you as a backup. Something else in their life isn't going to work out. 
But I feel like also at the same time, they're going to be coming to the realization that they have a soul connection with you. But I feel like they're going to be coming. What's really going to push them to come towards you is that something else didn't work out. Something else is closing out in their life. We did have the world. What do we have, guys? We had the world, the, the strength card. It's like finally a cycle's closing out for them. Now they have the courage or the confidence, the strength to be able to come towards you is what I'm seeing here. But Spirit so wants you to know that this person, it's going to take a very long time for this person to mature. All right, this person's still going to be coming to, back to you very immature. It says way off into the future. But the good thing, <laughs> the good thing, guys, is that you guys have inspired this person to change, to work on themselves, to grow. Um, this person's very haunted by you. What a interesting collective reading the week of Halloween. They're feeling very haunted by you. They can't stop thinking about you. Um, the memories that they share with you, they can't, it's like they think about, they replay them in their head all the time. So I do feel like this person is probably going to return. It can happen at any time, guys, honestly. We also, we have rushing in here and we have any day now. All right, but you guys are going to have to stand your ground with this person. Do not settle for less than you deserve, okay? Um, but it says there are lessons to be learned, which that already came out. There's still lessons that you and this person are going to probably need to learn, maybe even together, apart, whatever. Um, things are not going to go per perfectly. Um, it says it's going to take a while before you guys maybe get out of this like difficult season or um, era in your relationship or connection is what I'm trying to say. You guys don't even have to deal with this. If you guys don't want to go through that, you don't want to take this person back, you don't have to. You guys have free will. You can do what you want. All right. Well, you do what's best for you. Everyone's situation is different. So let's get you guys some advice. All right. And we're going to wrap up the reading with that. Advice for my collective. I feel like some of you guys are kind of in two minds about this situation or with this person part of you was like no I don't want anything to do with this person I deserve better I'm done with them and then part of you is like no I still love them like I still think that there may be hope for us I you know I, I have faith or hope that this person may change in the future I'm definitely seeing that you know that can be the case for some of you guys being it you know having two different perspectives on the situation um Spirit is saying you guys need to really make a decision you guys can't just stay in limbo about the situation um, if you guys want this situation, if you want this relationship with this person, you guys can't be in, you, it's like, you guys can't have both. It's like, you guys can't have your cake and eat it too, either. It's like, either you want this person and you want to be in a relationship or you don't. If this person comes back and you want to have something with them, then you need to leave all that indecisive energy behind or things aren't going to work out. Things are going to go bad. If that makes sense, guys. Like, I know it's it's very it's very normal for you guys to feel guarded towards this person. You know, be a little bit apprehensive to open up to them. But um, there needs to be something that, if that's how you feel, then maybe this isn't something that you should pursue. I hope that makes sense, guys. Because Spirit says, what's, gone, what's done is done, what's gone is gone. Walk away or and move on. No ugly words, no, no formal goodbyes, no revenge, just no more. So for some of you guys, like it's like you're not you're you're not going to be able to release what this person did to you. You're not going to be able to get over it. All right. Some of you guys may feel like you lack closure. So you're going to entertain this person when they come back, or just maybe at least hear them out. And you think that's going to give you closure? Spirit says that that's going to come from within yourself. You don't need closure from this person. This person may not even give that to you. Okay. You need to find that within yourself. All the closure that you need is that this person treated you less than what you, you know, you deserve better than what they treated you like. And that's pretty much all the closure that you need. Okay. Um, it's like, but it's like you did inspire this person to change, to work on themselves, to grow. You probably, this connection with the two of you probably brought to the surface some things that maybe this person was trying to ignore within themselves or suppress. 
and they didn't have a choice anymore once they encountered you okay that's why i'm like feeling this is like definitely like a twin flame connection you guys triggered each other all right um inspired each other to change or to brought some things to the surface like maybe there were some things that you needed to heal from that you were suppressing you're no longer able to do that anymore Spirit says you might know what's good for you, but your angels and guides know what's best for you. There's better for you. So Spirit says there is something better for you. There is something better for you guys than somebody that looks at you as a second choice, looks, looks at you as plan B. All right? You guys deserve better than that. But this is exactly what I was trying to say. You can't expect love to win when ego has won. For those of you that do want to try to work on things with this person, for those of you that are in complicated situations and it's not as black and white as this person you know, chose somebody else over you or, you know, they were looking at you as a black and plan because it's not always that black and white, guys. You know, there's other circumstances that things can just be very complicated, okay? Like this, for example, let me see if I can come up with an example. This person may have always known that you were their soulmate or their twin flame. They always knew they wanted something, you know, had, wanted to have something with you. But maybe this karmic was withholding the chill, you know, threatening this person. This person was manipulating, this third party was manipulating your person. Um, using the ki ki the kids as a pawn to control your person. Stuff like that, guys. Like, it's like always more complicated than you think. Like, maybe this third party had more of an upper hand over your person. Or something that, you know, it's always, it's not always black and white. But for some of you, it is. And I feel like for those of you that is black and white, this person just like like to have options. They're a player. There was nothing really keeping this person or like keeping this person tied to this third party. They weren't stuck in a situation with this third party. Children weren't involved. Then this is probably that situation where you guys need to just move on from this person. Release them. You deserve better. There's something better manifesting for you. But there are some of you guys that do still want to be with this person, but you're guarded towards them because... Of what has happened between the two of you guys and that is exact that's understandable but you guys need to know that you're gonna have to at some point let your guard down you're gonna have to release all that negativity or those negative feelings that you have tied or associated with the past situations um so that you and you, your person can move forward in a better energy and a positive energy so you guys can actually have something stable and successful if you keep letting your ego get in the way that's that fear that's like that anxiety that's that pride that all that you know and guardedness comes from fear you know what I mean? So, in my eyes. So, you guys are going to, if you guys want to have anything with this person, you guys are going to have to release that. It's, everyone's situation is different. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Sprint, take what resonates, leave the rest. Sprint, take what resonates, leave the rest.